Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style. I have a thrift haul. <laughs> uh, from These are mostly things that I purchased today. I did go to the Salvation Army a couple of days ago, um, right before I went to work. Everything else I got this today. Um, I'll start with this behind me. This is um, a Talbot's um, dress and a jacket. It's like a three-quarter length jacket that has no um, no buttons on it. Just kind of a um, short little jacket that goes over this um, kind of a shift dress. Just brown, plain brown shift dress with a V-neck. I saw this um, hanging in um, the dresses. Doesn't have the original tag of what they had on it. Seems like it was like $16 or something. It's got this really nice um, seam across here and seams down the middle on either side. This is, has a, a back zip and then seaming on either side here. And it's like knee length with a back kick pleat. It doesn't look very cute in this in the picture here on the video. Um, but I saw this at Gently Used a couple weeks ago or maybe last week. And um, it's a and I thought, oh that's cute, but maybe I'll just wait and see if it goes on the dollar rack. And it was on the dollar rack today. <laughs> Um, that they, the dollar rack is each piece is a dollar. So for $2, I got this really nice set. I did not try it on, so I have no idea if it'll fit me, if I'll keep it or if I'll get rid of it. But I do really like brown and I love in the summertime, I love brown and white together. So, so we'll see. We'll see what if I end up actually wearing it or, or selling it. Um, what I got the other day when I was at Salvation Army, um, this I think I paid the $5 that they had on it. It is a toiletries bag, like a men's toiletries bag, but it is so clean and so nice. And my husband has one that's, I don't know, we, I think he's had it since we got married 27 years ago. Um, but this one is by Fossil. And it's really nice leather, just that wonderful, soft, fossil leather. And it's kind of interesting. It's all, you know, it has um, the vinyl on the inside, but it's not real, real deep, but deep enough to carry pretty much everything you need, um, a zipper down the front. And then also the bottom of the bag zips open and has, you know, this compartment here, and then there's a mesh zipper, um, zipper pocket right there. But see how clean, I don't think it's ever been used. It was probably, you know, purchased as a gift or something, and um, for a guy who either doesn't like to travel or doesn't like to use a toiletries bag, but I thought this was a great little find. Because stuff like this, uh, you know, I would hate to have to buy this <laughs> at Macy's or even TJ Maxx. I have no idea what they would sell this for, um, a leather fossil bag. But anyway, I paid $5 for it at Sal Salvation Army. And I also, for I think all the scarves were $1.99. And I bought this navy blue scarf. But it is 100% says Scottish uh, cashmere. There's a tag on it. Made in Scotland, dry clean or hand wash, 100% cashmere. And it is so, so soft. This is just, oh, it's, it is such a soft scarf. I looked through all my coats and I have a, I have kind of an off, like a khaki coat that I thought, oh, well, I can use this with that because everything else I have is black. And I got to looking at it and it's trimmed in black. So I don't know if I will be, what coat I will be able to wear this scarf with, but it's got a little fringe at the bottom. And if nothing else, my husband can use it. Um, 
because it is it's just so soft for a dollar ninety nine. And then this had a green tag on it, and green tags were seventy five percent off. And I don't even remember what the price was. I think the price was three seventy five or something, and it was seventy five percent off. But this is a little Dooney and Burke, um, just a little travel case, I guess. It's pale, real pale leather on the bottom, and it does have some water spots. And but it's just super, super soft um, brown um, leather, and then inside it's got that. Dooney and Burke, brown and white, a um, little bit of dirt inside there. It looks like a little bit of like dried up lipstick or <laughs> lip pencil or something. But I think this will clean up really well. And um, I do really like cosmetic cases, although I have so many of them. This would work well for a man, too. Um, to put small toiletries in for a travel case or or something, even like just extra little like watches and jewelry or whatever, you know. But um, I picked that up because it was super cheap and it's Junie and Burke and it's wonderful leather and I just love leather. Okay, so today um, we went back to Gently Used. I found some shoes there. They put all the shoes in one bag. Everything's sliding over. So these I picked up. And these are, I believe, actually in my size. They were $8 and they had not sold. So they marked them down to $3. Oh, I guess there is a size right there. Oh, they're, a, oh, they're actually a 9.5. I didn't realize that because they're marked an 8.5. But they're 39 and a half. So I didn't try these on, but they're Vince Camuto. And they're just a, a purple <laughs> suede flat with a black bow. I thought these would be cute with just some black, like, um, trout, little slim trousers. Or a skirt, like a black straight skirt. Um, I don't know. I tend to wear heels with skirts because I feel so short. Uh, in flats, but I was thinking I would wear these, but they're actually, if they're nine and a half, then they would probably be too big for me. So I will most likely, if my daughter doesn't want them, um, cause she actually really likes flats. So she may end up taking these <laughs> three bucks for Vince Camuto flats. Pretty good. And then they also had these that are, these are a size 7. I bought these to resell. Um, they are, they were $5 and they're that Robert uh, Clergy. I don't know, I've sold, choose this brand before. And these are just like a, they're a brown microfiber, like a loafer pump. These would probably look nice with that, that dress, maybe. Um, with the Talbot stress. So pick those up. They're in really good shape. They have been worn, so there's a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but thought those were pretty nice. So I got those. And then another shoe that I did buy for myself um, were these, I'll show one for now. The um, They're Clark's and they're a Mary Jane, they're black suede, and then black patent leather. And they're, the heel is not too chunky, I don't think. It's nice, it's a nice substantial heel. Um, these, I believe, are an eight and a half, which I wear an eight, but um, I can usually wear an eight and a half since I have, I have wider feet. So a lot of times an eight and a half fits better. And they just have, you know, the Mary Jane strap across them, and they're in really good shape. And uh, for Clark's pumps, I don't know. Oh, they're Indigo, Clark's Indigo pumps. I think these run, I don't know about the Indigo uh, style. I was thinking these run like around $100 at DSW or something, but um, I'll have to look into them because I don't know if Indigo is a cheaper you know, um, style or, 
or what. So, but those, I thought those were cute. And I wear a lot of, I wear a lot of heels. And these are a little bit higher than I normally would wear. But if they're comfortable because they're Clark's, then I might get away with it. So, uh, another thing I bought there, I was going back and forth, back and forth. They actually had quite a few bags that, um, you know, were nice brands, but had some wear. They had a black Brighton bag that um, had the black, just like that um, heart uh, design all over it. So it was a fabric bag that had black um, leather you know, around the edges and stuff. And it did have some wear. So I passed on that one. They also had a brown Dooney and Burke backpack that I thought about getting, but they had 20, I think they had $25 on it. And the straps themselves, the edges, you know, that vinyl stuff that they melt onto the edges of handbags, that was flaking off. And so I thought, uh, I, I, I passed on that one too. But this one was in the case, pink and green, pink and green. It's a Kate Spade bag. And I really kind of thought, you know, I thought and thought and thought about this one too, um, because it's a fabric bag. And I tried really quickly on my phone to find another fabric bag like this, and I couldn't, it's not even another color. I didn't even, I didn't know what to call this. But it's, it is really, really um, nice and clean inside. It has the Kate Spade uh, leather little tag right there. And it has that, the numbered tag um, inside the pocket. And it's, it's nice and clean. It has like one spot on one corner around here. So, um, and then in the back, it's just plain. No pockets or anything. But it's kind of a nice size, and it's more of a Kelly green here. As I look at it, and this co this coloring makes it look pea green, but it's not. It's like a bright Kelly green, and then it has this really nice leather um, tag right here. So I need to look into this and see if I can figure out what um, the name of the style is. Um, but this was $25, so I thought I did pay. I went ahead and paid that because others that were kind of similar were selling for like $45. Um, but I think I will hold on to this and use it in the spring at least a few times uh, just for fun. So I've been uh, using that other uh, Kate Spade bag, the light green. And I actually just switched out to an old, my old, big bucket bag, the coach black bucket bag. Um, I, I put everything in that this morning. So it's like rainy and blustery and thought I should save that other light, light bluish, you know, mint green for spring. So this one I'll probably save for spring too and maybe summer. This would be cute, I think, with summer clothes. Um, another thing I found, and I'm not, I'm still not exactly sure why I bought this. I just thought it was really cool. Um, I was I actually threw it in my cart, and then I thought if I can't, you know, I, I, if I you know decide against it, I won't get it. I thought this would actually, even though this is vintage, I thought you could use this for a tablet because it had originally you were supposed to put a pad of paper in here, and it would just go um, in these under these um, panels. But you could somehow, I'm sure you could figure out, this is just a piece of paper. It's actually just leather behind here. Um, but this is so cool because it has this little thing for notes, just a little tiny notebook. I don't know what was over here. Um, and then this folds out like for papers and you can keep them separated. This, you know, this is attached. But it also had this old airmail um, uh, envelope in here, which is not very old, really, because it has, it says zip code right there. So it's not like this is vintage, but it, this is just cool. It was just cool. They had, whoops, they had $2.99 on it. And so I was trying to think, do I have, 
one of those, 20% off. Got this at Value Village, which is the same as Savers. Um, and it is, it shows this like some dirt on this side of it and a crease right here. And so I was trying to decide for $3, do I even want this? Would I use it? I might would put a pad of paper in here. I don't know. I might could fit like a magazine in here. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if I would use this. And then I ran in, we ran, my mom was with my mom and we ran into a friend of ours and then she said, oh, it's the perfect time to bring your mom because it's senior day, which I thought, and it always was or has been for a long time on Wednesdays. But apparently now it's on Tuesdays. So I'm we're going there every Tuesday from now on. <laughs> if I can get 40% off. And that also helped me make the decision um, for the other thing that I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy it. Um, is this little gem um i had thrown this in my cart this is it was kate spade bag today <laughs> for me i found this little kate spade bag it's really cute too and on the back it even says kate spade and this thing flips over and then it opens up and has this cute little print inside and it's stamped Kate Spade and it has it does have the um, the tag inside here that has the numbers on it and that little hologram type stitching but it's in really great shape probably because it's so tiny it's not a bag that you would carry all the time the only wear on it is a little bit of scratching on this and so sometimes you just want a small bag. I do have several small bags. I had a red uh, bag a little bit bigger than this that I used to carry sometimes when we went out to dinner because this size is actually very nice to have because this is like the exact size to put a full size wallet in. So you don't have to switch out wallets and you know put everything in a smaller wallet. You can just put your whole wallet in here and then there's enough room for you know lipstick and mirror and um, your cell phone and stuff. If you're just going out to dinner and you just you don't want a big bag, but you want one that's still big enough for what you absolutely need. Um, so yeah, so I may hold on to this. I might use it a few times um, before I resell it. We'll see. But 40% off. They had it marked $17.99. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy it or not. And then um, when our friend said it was senior day, I thought, oh, well, that makes that decision. So I bought that for 40% off. And then I also had thrown into my cart this cashmere sweater. <laughs> Yeah, I've been finding cashmere. Now that cashmere is like everywhere and every brand sells cashmere. This is Valerie Stevens, so it probably came from Macy's. I don't know. Years ago, Meyer and Frank <laughs> sold Valerie Stevens. So I don't know if Macy's, if that's now a Macy's brand. Not sure. But I thought this was really cute because the bottom of it is kind of rounded like a, like a shirt. It's shirt cut on the bottom, which I thought was kind of cool. So it has, it you know, it's this incredibly soft cashmere sweater that's a pale blue, kind of a pale grayish blue. And it has this really pretty um, arm, the wrist with the two buttons. And I thought this would just look so nice with a white t-shirt underneath it with jeans or just because of that, you know, like on the back, you can really see the shirt, kind of the shirt tail cut of it. I don't know. I just thought that was really neat. And I love cardigans, um, cardigan sweaters. So this was marked $9.99 and then it was 40% off. So like $6 for that. And then the only other two things I got probably aren't even worth showing, but I bought these to resell. <laughs> My mom and sisters watch the show 
um, Doc Martin. I've never actually seen it. Um, it's probably on Amazon or Netflix. I don't know. I have Amazon, so I should check. Um, but this is C Series 6. So I don't know how many series there are total. But this is the sixth one. And it's brand new. This was never opened. And so I did offer to let my mom watch it. But she said she thinks she's already seen it. She doesn't even know how many series there are. But she says she's caught up. So all I'm going to put that probably on Amazon. <laughs> and then I also bought this book. Well, that was $3. This was $4. And I love Downton Abbey. And this was put out in 2012. So um, there have been, you know, three seasons since then, including this one. And now that Downton Abbey is almost over, um, I don't know if Downton Abbey stuff will become collectible or not. But, um, you know, I was looking through the book area and, and found these two things. And this has lots of pictures of the cast and like as they were shooting and then items that they found, you know, like vintage items that they actually used on the show. So I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, I bought it really because I just wanted to look through it and love Daisy. I wish I had a Daisy and a Mrs. Patmore. I love them. They're my favorite characters, I think, on there. Um, yeah, so I thought it was cool, you know, the vintage things that you'd have to come up with to film a show like that. So obviously filming it in England, well, and um, the Dowager, she's also fabulous. I've been watching all kinds of TV shows and movies with Maggie Smith in it. <laughs> I love her, too. So I picked that up. So after I look through this, it is selling on Amazon right now for like $15. So um, maybe I'll share it around to some of my other Downton Abbey friends who like, who love that show. Um, so that's, that's it. That is my thrift haul for today. Um, thought I'd make a bunch of videos, made another one earlier and start getting, um, caught up on making my videos. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially when you make it all the way to the end. <laughs> um, so thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.